ஒருத்தர் போராடி கொண்டிருக்கிறான் என்பது அவருக்கு தெரியவில்லை they are not able to understand that the adversary is working in order to destroy mankind ஆனாலும் கத்தர் அவனோடு இடைப்பட்டார் nonetheless the lord dealt with him அருமையான தேவனுடைய பிள்ளையே நீ எந்த சூழ்நிலையிலே சிக்கி தவித்தாலும் அந்தந்த நேரங்களில் கத்தர் உன்னோடு இடைப்பட்டார் என்பது உனக்கு தெரியும் regardless of what situation you were entangled in you beloved do know how the lord dealt with you in such situations நெருக்கப்பட்ட நேரங்களில் கத்தர் உன்னோடு பட்சத்திலே வந்தார் in times of affliction the lord stood beside you எல்லாரும் ஒதுக்கின நேரத்திலே கத்தர் உன் பட்சத்திலே வந்தார் when you were shunned by all the lord stood by you நீ விழுந்து போற நேரத்திலே கத்தர் வந்து உன்னை தாங்கினார் when you were, you fell down the lord held you up நீ தடுமாறின நேரத்திலே அவர் வந்து கை கொடுத்தார் when you staggered the lord kept you steadfast அவர் தேவதூதர்களுக்கு கை கொடுக்காமல் விழுந்து போன ஆபிரகாமின் சந்ததிக்கு அவர் கை கொடுத்தார் he extended not his hand of help to the angels but to the seed of abraham rather marubadiyum avane tatti vittar tatti elupinar once again he wrapped him and and, and awoke him avan odi vandan and he came around or kurikapatta oreb engra or edathukku vandu serndan he came to a place called horeb devanudaiya parvathamaagiya oreb engra or edathukku vandu serndan he came to a destination called horeb which means the mountain of the lord andavar nenaithar parava illa avan orebukku vandu vittan inimel avane karathil eduthu paavikkalam endru devan yosithar and the lord began to think well it is right because he has come to horeb it might be um, appropriate for us to take him in his hands and put him to good use enandal ore oru nera aagarathile 40 naal nadandu avan ore pengra devunudaiya parvatha mattum vandu serndu vittan because by taking just one course of food sufficient for a day he had walked for a span of 40 days and nights and reached the foot of this mountain uh, of horeb ore pengra parvatha mattum vandu vittan endra devan sandoshapattu kondirundha poludhu thidir endru paarthal avan ange alaindu thirindu theedi kandupidithu oru gebiye paarthu adarku ulle poi unalaindu vittan when the lord was taking joy concerning him having reached this destination called horeb on the other side this man he loitered here and there found out an other place in which he can find his abode and he was sitting there in the gebiyin vaasalil idan devan vandu nindru sonnar eliyave unakku inge idarkulla enna velai nee veliye va enakku munbaga vandu nil it is from the front of the mouth of that cave that then that the lord started to speak to elijah saying oh elijah what duty what work do you have inside that came come out and stand before me ore edai kaatugirade what does ore speak on priyamanule devan manidhanai sandhikkum or idam beloved a place where god visits man devanudaiya darshanam oru vanukku kidaikkum idam a place where man receives god's vision devan oru manidhanodu pesum idam a place where god communicates with man kathar oru manidhanukkaga kaathu nirkakoodiya oru idam a place where god tarries and is in waiting for devan, man devan thannudaiya janathin thaagathai theerkakoodiya oru idam a place where god quench is the thirst of his people janangal nagaiyai kalatti potta oru idam a place where people put away ornaments from of them devan manidhanodu udanbadikai pannina oru idam a place where god entered into a covenant with man ore sabai koodum oru idam ore is a place where the church congregates in the edathile avan vandu serndadinal kathar avanai kurithu sandoshapattar it is because of him having reached this destination that god took joy in it யாத்ராகமும் மூன்று ஒன்றிலே கத்தர் ஒரு மனிதனை சந்தித்த இடம் என்பதை நாம் பார்க்கலாம் we read in uh, exodus chapter 3 and verse 1 that it is a place where god visited man யாத்ராகமும் மூன்று இரண்டிலே முள்ச்சடியிலே அவனுக்கு தரிசனமானார் என்று நாம் பார்க்கலாம் we read in verse 2 of that same chapter that god appeared to him from a thicket உபாகமன் 4 15 இலே கத்தர் அவனோடு பேசின இடம் என்று நாம் பார்க்கலாம் we read in deuteronomy chapter 4 and verse 12 that it was a place from where god spoke to man யாத்ராகமும் 17 6 இலே கத்தர் அவனுக்காக காத்து நின்ற இடம் கண்மலையிலே தாகத்தை தீர்த்த freedom in exodus chapter 60 17 and verse 6 it was a place where man god waited for man it was a place where god quench the thirst of man by uh, by making water proceed out of rocks yathraam 33 6 le janangal dukkapattu aabarnangale vendam endru kalatti potta or idam exodus 33 and verse 6 speaks about a place where people filled with grief rejected and put aside their ornaments ubagama 5 2 le devan manidhanodu udanbadike pannina or idam in deuteronomy 5 2 we read about a place where god entered into a covenant with man ubagama 18 16 in badi sabai koodina or idam in deuteronomy 18 16 we read of 
it being a place where the church congregated God took joy in seeing that man reached such a destination the church is a place where God visits man God is ever so willing to quench the thirst of a man after having reached such a place he started to seek a cave a den for himself to, to hide there after maturing a bit in your spiritual life you have to seek a greater maturity in it rather you should not seek any other place any other course of life Lazarus was loved by the Lord nonetheless he slid into the grave with Elijah praying fire would be poured out of heaven nonetheless he hid himself in a cave after coming to this Christian, spiritual and excellent life, you should not in any way seek this life of entering into a den or a cave. If you have inadvertently chosen that cave, the words of God to struggle with you saying, Come out of the grave, for I need to interact with you. What does this cave, this den speak of? We read in chapter 10 and verse 9 of the book of Psalms that lions inhabit caves. We read in Genesis chapter 19 and verse 30 that Lot with his family found his dwelling place in a cave. We read in Ezekiel 33, 27 that the pestilences loom in a, in a cave. We read in Daniel chapter 6 and 24, a cave then is the destination reserved for criminals. Those who were accused of crime were cast into a den. We read in Joshua 10, 16. Uh, 10 16 that caves and dens were places uh, in which uh, frightened kings sought refuge. They, they were people who were anointed as kings. After being anointed as kings, being fear struck, they sought refuge in dens and caves. Beloved, life in a church, spiritual life, is a life which is full of protection. After having entered this refuge, there is no need for you to fear. After entering this path, you do not stagger. It is the Lord who makes you firm. If your feet does slip, call out to the Lord. He is able to confirm and settle you. A man of God says, Lord, when my feet do slip, your grace does uphold me. This man who came to this destination, why should he seek her then? After entering into a Christian life, what? Why do you backslide? After having been washed by the blood of Jesus, why do you seek refuge in a hiding place? Why do you live a life worthy of accusation? Why are you attacked by a pestilence? Why do you by yourself stand before the mouth of a lion? James the Apostle says every man is enticed being drawn by his own lust and does perish. Beloved friend, where are you? Beloved brother and sister, where is your standing? It is good you having come to this uh, 
crowd this group called horeb anal unudaiya thanipatta vaalkai enge olithu veithirukkirai but where have you kept your personal life in hiding unudaiya andaranga vaalkai patti unudaiya arivu enna what is the knowledge concerning your secretive life yen unnal dhairiyamaga veliye nirkka mudiyavillai why can you not boldly stand out in the open unnai alaitha devanukku munbaga yen unnal dhairiyamaga nirkka mudiyavillai why do you not have confidence to face and stand before your living god yen unudaiya manasaatchi unnai kutravaliyaga theerkirathu why does your conscience condemn you to be a, a person who is in crime nandraga thana irundai yen ippozhudhu singathin vaayile satruvin pidiyile yen poi nee sikkikondai you lived well isn't it why have you now been taken by the jaws of the lion why have you been entangled in the in the grave unnai rajavaga thana devan abhishekam panni irundar yen ippozhudhu oru bayathin aavi unnai pidithu thigil undaakugirathu did not god anoint you as king why then now is a spirit of fear taken hold of you and holds you in its sway yen mattavulai kutram chaatukira oru aavi ippozhudhu unnodu poraadi nee yen adarku idam koduthai why does a spirit of accusation find its place in you why did you in the first place make room for it in your life ah inge andavar vandu gebile vaasal nindu kondirundar yes god stood at the mouth of that cave adukku mundana vasanangal avar kekkirar unakku inge enna kaariyam in the previous verses we read god asking what matter do you have here indiya vasanangalile kekkirar unakku inge enna kaariyam in the succeeding verses he asks us what is your duty here yen nee kutram chaatta kudivanai maari ponai why were you man worthy of accusation yen indrikku vyadhiyile nee veliya varamudiyamal thavikkirai why are you languishing not able to deliver yourself from sickness andavar sonnar magane nee veliye vandu enakku munbaga nil and the lord said come forth out and stand before me arumiyanavarle indrikku devundey vaathai ungal ovvoruvarai nokki varugirathu arumiyana magane magale indrikku nee gebiyin vaalkai vittu veliye va even today dear son dear daughter the words of god are directed towards you come out of that den stand before me enakku munbaga vandu nil stand before me naan unnudaiya mugathai paarka virumbugiren i wish to behold your countenance naan marubadi unnodu pesa virumbugiren i wish to speak with you yet again naan marubadi unnai abhishekikka virumbugiren i wish to re anoint you marubadi naan unnai karathil edukka virumbugiren i wish to take you i wish to take you up in my hands again marubadi unnai dhairiyam ullavanai maatra virumbugiren i wish to embolden you all over again innum unmoolama enakku seiya vendiya ooliyangal unde there are yet more ministries that i need to perform in and through you ondru nee kallarai vittu veliye va irandavathu nee gebiye vittu veliye va first come out of the grave second come out of the cave or the den indru kethana ver gebiyin vaalkaiyile sikki thavikkireergal how many of you i have been entangled and are languishing in a cave yaarume avanukku thunai illai there was no one in his company avane aarudal padutha aal illai none to comfort him avane dhairiya padutha aal illai none to encourage him avane urchaga padutha aal illai none to enthuse him appadiye vittirundha avan அப்படியே செத்து போயிருப்பான் if he had been left all by himself to be alone he would have died perhaps ஆனால் அவனை தேவன் தேடி வந்தான் nonetheless the lord sought him ஒன்றை புரிந்து கொள்ளுங்கள் இந்த கூட்டத்தில் நீங்க தற்செயலாய் வரவில்லை கத்தர் தான் உன்னை சந்திக்க இங்க கொண்டு வந்தார் there's one thing that you need to understand you've not ventured into this place by accidents by accident the lord is the one who has led you here avarku unnai kurithu or nokkam irukku the lord has a plan concerning you adu oru velai unakku therindirukkala perhaps you might not take knowledge about it oru velai nee paadai maari irukkala perhaps you might have erred in your way adukku soolnalaiye nee kaaranam sollalam you might perhaps accuse circumstances for that anal devan soolnalaigalai maatra vallavar but the lord is able to change circumstances for the better andakku andha manushane thedi kebiyandai vandu marubadi marubadi avanidathile pesi avane veliya kondu vandha the lord standing by the mouth of the grey the cave the den speaking to him time and again turned him out of there ama mugatha moodikitte vande andavarku munbaga veliye vande nindra he covering his face stood before the lord in his presence kattarku munbaga nee vekkapada vendi avashyam illa there is no need for you to feel shy or ashamed before avar dhan inda kootathile unnai theedi vandirukkar he is the one who has sought for you in this meeting indrikku unnai gebiyil irundhu veliye alaikkumudiyaga devunudaiya vaarthai marubadi 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 unnai nokki vandu kondey irukkar the words of god time and again proceed towards you in order to bring you out of the confines of the cave adutadaga oru ஆச்சா மூன்று பேரை வெளியே வரும்படியாக அழைத்தான் நெக்ஸ்ட் a king called for three people to come out daniel 3rd adhigaram 26th vasanathai nam vasikkalam let's read daniel chapter 3 and verse 26 appozhudhu nebukadnechar erigir akinichudaiyin vaasalandaikku vandu unnadamana devunudi daasaragiya satra mesha aabethnego endravargale ningal veliye varungal endran appozhudhu satra mesha aabethnego endravargal akini naduvil irundhu veliye vandargal Then Nebuchadnezzar came near to the mouth of the burning fiery furnace and spake and said, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, ye servants of the Most High God, come forth and come hither. 
Then Shadrach, Meshach and Abednego came forth of the midst of the fire. Kathrodiya parisutha naamathukku maiyam undavada. Glory be to the holy name of the Lord. Namakku ellarku therindha oru veda pagudhi dhaan. This is a scriptural portion that we are all aware of. Aanal devunudaiya thittam irpadhai naam purindhu kolla vendum. But we need to understand there is a plan behind it from God. Inge raja vandu solugiraar ningal veliye vaarungal. Here the king says come forth. Oru raja சூழ்நிலை மாறின பொழுது அவனே அதை அனுமதி கொடுத்தான் here we read of a king with situations changing he himself permitting uh, uh, things to happen in a different way ஆன்மீக பாதையிலே பல வழிகளிலே நாம் செல்ல வேண்டியது இருக்கிறது in our spiritual life there might be different paths for us to take இங்கே இந்த சாத்ராக் மேஷாக் ஆபேத்னேகோ மூன்று பேரும் அக்னி சூளிலே தள்ளப்பட்டு விட்டார்கள் here we read of shadrach meshach and abednego who were cast into a fiery furnace ஒரு பொற்சிலையை வணங்க சொல்லி அவர்களுக்கு ஒரு நிபந்தனை விதிக்கப்பட்டது. A condition was laid on them in order to worship a golden image. தேவனை தவிர வேற ஒன்றையும் நாங்கள் பணிந்து கொள்ள மாட்டோம் என்று சொன்னார். But they said without God there is nothing else we will worship and serve. அந்த வார்த்தை சூழ்நிலையவே மாற்றி போட்டது. And those words that confession changed the situation. இப்படி இப்பொழுது அக்னி சூளை 7 மடங்கு அதிகமாக சூடாக்கப்படுகிறது. Now the furnace was heated 7 times over. ஒரு மனிதன் பிரச்சனைகளை சிக்குகிறான். அதே பிரச்சனை அதிகரித்தால் 7 மடங்கு அதிகரித்தால் அவன் என்ன செய்ய முடியும்? If a man is entangled in a, a, a bad situation, if that situation intensifies to become worse 7 times over, what can that man do? அவனுக்கு சாதகமாக தான் ராஜா இருந்து கொண்டிருந்தான். The king was earlier favorable to Daniel. ஆனால் சூழ்நிலை மாறின பொழுது எந்த ராஜா சாதகமாக இருந்தானோ அவனே அவர்களுக்கு பாதகமாக marina but when circumstances became unfavorable the favorable king himself became unfavorable to daniel marle ungale nesikira anegar ungale virodhikiravulaga maarlam beloved people who like you might perhaps then turn to hate you ungale ganam panina anegar ganavina paduthalam people who once honored you will now start to dishonor you ungale nerungi vandavargal ungale vittu dooram poi vidalam your close acquaintances will now start to distance themselves from you ungalku aalochane sollavargal thavarana aalochane sollalam your good counselors will now provide bad counsel நீங்கள் நேசித்தவர்களே உங்களை பகிப்பார்கள் your your beloved people will then start to hate you உங்களோடு கூட இருந்து புசித்தவர்களே உங்களுக்கு விரோதமாய் மாறி விடுவார்கள் those who ate together with you will then start to work against you இப்படிப்பட்ட சூழ்நிலைகளிலே நீங்களும் கூட தள்ளப்பட்டிருக்கலாம் you might perhaps have been pushed into that situation ராஜா தங்களுக்கு சாதகமாய் இருப்பான் என்று எண்ணினார்கள் அவனோ பாதகமாய் மாறினான் they thought the king would be favorable to them but on the contrary he was unfavorable பிரச்சனை அதிகரித்தது the problem intensified அக்னி சூளை ஏழு மடங்கு அதிகரித்தது the fire in the furnace was heated seven times over இப்பொழுது அவர்கள் மூன்று பேரும் உள்ளே தூக்கி போட்டார்கள் now all the three were cast into the into the furnace பிரியமான நீங்கள் யாராக இருந்தாலும் இப்படி சூழ்நிலைகள் மாறலாம் beloved no matter who you are circumstances could change for the worse for you like this உன்னோடு இருப்பவர்களே உனக்கு ஆப்போசிட்டாக மாறி விடுவார்கள் people who are in your company might perhaps turn against you ah enna nadandade what happened aanalum ivargal dhairiyamaga nindrar nonetheless they stood boldly naangal idai vidamal aaradhikira devan engalai thappu vikka vallavar appadi thappu viyamal ponalum நீர் உண்டு பண்ணின பொற்சிலையை நாங்கள் பணிந்து கொள்வது இல்லை the lord god whom we worship and serve is able to deliver us from the mouth of that furnace even if he does not deliver us from the furnace let it be known unto you o king that we will not worship and serve that graven image இத்தனை வருஷம் நீங்கள் தேவனை பின்பற்றி வருகிறீர்களே உங்களில் அந்த நிச்சயம் உள்ளவர்கள் எங்களை தேவன் தப்பு விக்க வல்லவர் என்று விசுவாசிகள் கரங்களை வைத்து ஹalleluya சொல்லுங்கள் பார்க்கலாம் ஹalleluya ஆம் பிரியமானவளே உங்களை இரவும் பகலும் காக்க அவர் வல்லமை உள்ளவராய் இருக்கிறார் beloved he is ever so faithful to preserve you day and night நீ உறங்கினாலும் அவர் உறங்குவதில்லை even if you shall fall asleep he will not நீ தூங்கினாலும் அவர் தூங்குவதே இல்லை even if you slumber he will not ஒரு நம்முடைய சபையினுடைய ஒரு மூத்த பாஸ்டர் ஒரு பிரச்சனை சூழ்ந்த நேரத்துல அப்படியே தூக்கம் வராமல் இரவெல்லாம் செபித்து அலைந்து கொண்டே இருந்தார் an elder pastor of our fellowship when, at the time when he was facing a, a conflicting situation without falling at sleep at night he was walking up and down தூங்கணும் ட்ரை பண்றாரு அந்த மைண்ட்ல அந்த டிஸ்டர்பன்ஸ் வரும்போது அவர் எழும்பி நடந்து காரம் he wanted to fall asleep but when this disturbance entered into his mind he could not he started to walk up and down என்று ஒரு சத்தம் suddenly he heard a voice மகனே நீ போய் தூங்குன்னு சொல்ற my son go and sleep ne poi rest edun sonna go take rest avarku onrume puriyavilla he could not understand a thing thoongu solli pisas nammala edho merkolla pograano nu nenichita he thought it was the devil's voice uh, uh, in order to prevail against him in, uh, later adhukku perga adhigamaga chebikka aarambithar and then he started to pray all the more thirumbu avarku tiredness vandathu once again he he uh, became tired marubadi adhe satham kettathu once again he heard that same voice avarku and mind la kolappa irundadhanaale idhu yaarudeya satham gradha puriya romba yosithar because he was in this confused state of mind he was not able to discern as to whose voice it was appozhudhu marubadi devunudeya satham thelivai kettathu it was at that 
that time that he clearly heard the voice of God. In the kariya the enude karathile oppu kudutu vide. And the Lord said surrender this matter into my hands. Ani poi rest edu. You go and take rest. Israelai kaakkira naan urangaamalum thoongaamalum indha kariya the naan poru padupen. I who keep with Israel will neither sleep nor slumber i will take charge concerning this matter adanal kaalaiyile and the problem abbiye solve aayi vittu right on the next day that problem was solved adanal neenga ellarum thoongunu naan solla villa doesn't mean you should all sleep neengal bayapadadirgal kathar ungalukaga kriya seivar don't be frightened for the lord will be at work for you ivargal sonnargal engalai devan tappuvipar appadi tappuviyamal ponalum naangal engal devane marudhalikka maatom they said they confessed our lord is able to deliver us even in the event of he not doing not delivering us we will not be unfaithful to him we will not worship that graven image naan marubadiyum kekkiren engal devan engalai thappu vipar illa vittalum naangal marudhalikka maatom endru solugira or maarthanam karangalai vethal illaya solunga hallelujah oru manidan sonnar avar ennai kondru vaatalum naan avar mel nambikkaiya irupen there is one man who said even if he slay me yet will i trust him ulagathil irupavanilum nammil irupavar periyavar great is he greater is he that is in us than he that is in the world avargal akni sulile thooki pottargal they were they were cast into the fiery furnace avargal kari apdi onrumillamal poi viduvar endru etti paartha bolude deva kumaranukku oppana aaviyanavar avargalodu ulavi kondirundar when people looked inside to see whether charred remains of them would be inside the furnace what appeared to be like unto the son of man in the spirit was loitering inside the confines of the furnace akni oodagani nadandalu nee vegaadirupai akni un peril pattade even if you shall pass through the fire you will not be burned but fire will not by any means hurt you viswasa veerargal akni in ukkarathai avithargal endru hebrews la vaasikira we read in the book of hebrews warriors of faith they quenched the violence of fire priyamalla eppadi akniyai merkolluvade beloved how to prevail against fire நீ ஒரு அக்னியாய் மாற வேண்டும் you should become a fire நீ ஒரு அக்னி சூளை போல மாற வேண்டும் you should become a fiery furnace நீங்க ஞானசன எடுத்துるீங்க நான் நினைக்கிறேன் i believe that you would have all taken baptism ஏதோ பச்ச தண்ணில நீங்க ஞானசன எடுத்துるீங்க you might have taken baptism in plain cold water ஆனால் இன்னொரு ஞானசனம் இருக்கிறது but there is yet another baptism மத்தேயும் 3:11 லே சொல்லப்பட்டிருக்கிறது it's spoken of in 3:11 of saint matthew நான் உங்களுக்கு ஜலத்தினாலே ஞானசனம் கொடுத்தேன் i baptized you indeed with water எனக்கு பின் வருகிறவர் என்னிலும் பெரியவர் but he who cometh after me is mightier than i avar ungalku parisutha aavinalum akniyinalum ungalku gnana sanam kodupar the same as he who shall baptize you with the holy ghost and with fire priyamanule jalathil gnana sanam eduthavargal ethana per beloved how many of you have received baptism in water parisutha aavinal gnana sanam petravargal ethana per how many of you have been baptized in the holy spirit akniyinal gnana sanam petravargal ethana per how many have been baptized in fire abhishekathrudeya over step ai ningal purindukolla vendum you need to understand the various great steps of baptism akniyai maarinavanukku akni onnume seiyadhu a man who is fire himself will not be affected by fire akniyai akni pachikka mudiyadhu fire cannot consume fire nee or akni ஞானசனம் பெற்றிருந்தால் அக்னிமயமான பரீட்சையின் பாதையிலே நீ வேகாதிருப்பாய் அது உன் பேரில் பற்றாது if you have received fiery baptism you will stand bold in the face of fiery trials they will not by any means hurt you or cast you down ஒன்று உன்னை அக்னி பரீட்சையிலே தள்ளி விடுவான் one you will be cast into the face of fiery trials அந்த வாலிபனை அடிக்கடி அந்த ஆவி அக்னியிலே தள்ளினது there was a evil spirit that cast a young man often times into fire எபேசியர் 6:16 இன் படி பார்க்கும் பொழுது பொல்லாங்கன் ஏயும் அக்னி ஆஸ்திரங்கள் என்று நாம் பார்க்கிறோம் we read in ephesians chapter 6 and verse 16 they are the fiery darts of the wicked இந்த அக்னி பரீட்சையிலே போய் கொண்டிருந்த இந்த தேவனுடைய பிள்ளைகளை பார்த்து ராஜா சொன்னான் வெளியே வாருங்கள் it is to these children of god who underwent these fiery trials that the king said come out armiyadule ungalil ethana ver akni parichayal endru vaalkai unarugireergal beloved how many of you realize that your life is fraught with fiery trials inda viswasa paadile ethana ver akni paadile poi kondirukireergal how many of you are walking in that fiery path in your life of faith over naalum ennudaiya vaalkai akni choolai pole naalukku naal sooda adhigarithukonde irukirathu endru ethana ver arikeedugireergal how many of you confess that like a fiery furnace and the heat thereof of it your life is undergoing that part armiyana nanbane inda kootathin vaayilaga unnudi akni parichayin kaalathai kathar mudivukku kondu varugira now through these meetings the lord will bring an end to the the life which was fraught with fiery trials naan poi kondirunda akni parichayin kaalangal mudivadigirathu ennai veliye varumadi devan alaikkirar endru viswasikkirul karangalai veythungal hallelujah naan edarkku idai solugiren endru sonnal un vaalvile indrikku oru maatram sambhavikka pogirathu the reason why i speak of it 
now is because I see a change that is about to happen in your life. These are not words in order to just revive you. The Lord sees many people are walking the way of fiery trials here. You are in the ministry no doubt but the way which you take is being heated over with fire seven times. You are a newcomer into Christ but even before that fiery trials have commenced in your life. All this why this path of faith seemed to be favorable to you suddenly it seems to be quite unfavorable. Beloved, do not be frightened. This king who was once favorable then became unfavorable will once again be turned to become favorable to you by the Lord. God can make unfavorable things unfavorable and on the contrary restore favor back in those unfavorable things. Through these meetings the Lord calls to you to come out of the confines of the fiery furnace. The time of your fiery trials come to a close. If you believe in it, it will transpire in your life right now. The Lord knows that you have been afflicted much in your life. The Lord knows that you stand firm for him. The Lord also knows even as you stand firm for, firm for him, trials intensify in your life. Even as I was reading for this Bible study, that which the Lord inspired me of to think is that God has reserved an end even for fiery trials. In a short while, that king started to languish. Come out. You see the words of that king, he said, Come out. Oh beloved friend who is languishing in your fiery trials the words of God are for you tonight come out says that word one the Lord bringing a man out and secondly God himself leading a man out if you confess after God's call that you cannot make it out on your own the Lord secondly is able to lead you out by his hand if uh, you say to an alcoholic step stop drinking what he would say to you in return is I cannot my father was an alcoholic uh, by giving himself too much drinking there was a, a big uh, a whole scene in his abdomen in his stomach and he had sent his, uh, my brother to consult with the doctor and he said if he shall continue in alcoholism he will die soon if he doesn't maybe if he quits that habit he might live for a while longer and uh, the brother asked is there some other alternative to this my father asked whether there is some alternative to this but he was said nothing at all and he said it will be worse for me to continue without drinking and die later so let me die right away drinking they are not able to quit their habits. But if he had seen my Lord Jesus Christ once in his life, he could have perhaps been delivered. The life of any man which is encompassed by darkness will be illuminated if he shall look at Jesus. If you can come out after his call, well and good. If you cannot, if you shall confess, you cannot. 
the lord will lead you out and the lord is faithful to do it in your life adiyagamam 19th adhigaram 12th vasanathile lothin veetukku irandu devadudurlai anipi unnodu irukkira ellarayum alaithukondu nee veliye vandu vidu endru aandavar avanodu pesinar in genesis 19:12 we read about god speaking to lot saying um bring out all of your family members along with you so that you might deliver yourself from the destruction of the city onak inga yarala irukangalo avangala eduthittu nee veliya vaanchan come out in the company of all those people who are the next of your kith and kin alindu pogura oru ulagathile nee kaanapadugirai you are sitting in a world which face is about to face destruction nee thirpai nee nokki nee samibithu poi konde irukirai you are hastening towards judgment onnudaiya inda ini irukkira edathukku nyaaya thirpu enbadu sila mani nerangalile varapogura oru like as, as judgment is something that is to come upon the place where you are in dwelling in yet in yet a few years adhi avan 19th adhigarathile nam paarkumbodhu when we read in genesis chapter 19 15th vasanathile avan thamadithan in verse 15 he tarried avan avan thamadithan he tarried avan thamaditha bolidhu dan katta thanudaiya kriyai nadapikka aarambikkirar it is only when he delayed and tarried that god started to go about his work priyamanale indrikkum kuda உன்னை சோதோமில் இருந்து நியாய தீர்ப்பின் உலகில் இருந்து அப்படிப்பட்ட நிர்பந்தமான வாழ்வில் இருந்து உன்னை வெளியே அழைக்க முடியாக ஆண்டவர் விரும்புகிறார் ஈவன் டுடே காட் விஷஸ் டு டெலிவர் யூ फ्रॉम சோடம் फ्रॉम திஸ் वर्ल्ड ஆஃப் ஜட்ஜ்மென்ட் from this pathetic life once and for all paadai maarina oru manidan a man who erred in his way abrahamai vittu velaina oru manidan a man who estranged himself from abraham ulagathai eden pol avan paartha oru manidan a man who beheld the world to be ad- to, uh, as eden ah priyamarle ungil ethana veri ipdi irukkirgal we love it how many of you are like this in the lothai nokki than irandu thoodargal anupapadugirar it was towards lot that two angels were dispatched priyamarle oru velai ningal soonnaligalile paadai maari devanai vittu velagi poi Beloved, because of your circumstances, sometimes you could have erred from your path. Because of circumstances, you could have erred from your way of faith. Because of circumstances, you could have erred from your way of faith. In the kutam marubadiyum unnai alaikumudiyaghe aarambikka patta oru kutam. Beloved, this meeting was organized in order to beckon and call you again. Because of circumstances, you could have erred from your way of faith. Because of circumstances, you could have erred from your way of faith. Because of circumstances, you could have erred from your way of faith. Because of circumstances, you could have erred from your way of faith. Because of circumstances, you could have erred from your way of faith. Because of circumstances, you could have erred from your way of faith. Because of circumstances, you could have erred from your way of faith. Because of circumstances, you could have erred from your way of faith. Because of circumstances, you But the word of God says I want a needy man and to say it calls a man that man a just man Peter even I patti enna solugirar what does Peter say about him over and alum paavathai kandu kettu thannudaiya hridayathile vedanai patta oru manidan needy man endru solli irukkar he calls him a just man who on seeing the unrighteous deeds and unlawful works of the people in this world was vexed in his righteous heart from day to day paavathai paarthu dukkapattan a man who took grief on seeing sin paavath sanbavangalai kandu avan kelvi pottu vedanai pattan hearing of sinful works he was pained in his mind ayyo ulaga ivlavu kettu poyirchen nenaithan he said woe unto this world it's been ruined so much ana enna nadandathu what happened adha vittu veliye varamaatan he could not extricate himself from there priyamalai indrikku ipdi than 80% பெந்தேகோஸ்தகரல் இருக்கிறார் பிலாவே this is approximately how the state of 80% of the people are in the pentecostal fellowship பாவத்தை கண்டும் கேட்டும் தங்களுடைய இருதயத்திலே வாதிக்கப்படுகிறார்கள் ஆனால் சோதோமை விட அவர்களுக்கு மனது இல்லை on hearing and seeing of the unlawful and sinful deeds of sodom they are vexed in their mind nonetheless they are not able to leave it behind and go yerkanave oru visai adilirundu kattar veliye avane kondu vara poraadinar even once did god already strive with him to bring him out of there andha nerathile ellavachi ilandu ponaan in that time he lost all of his ma abraham moolamaga avanukku udhavi kidaithathu but help was extended to him through abraham marubadiyum sodamukulla poi ukkandu vandar but he found himself sitting there in sodom all again ethane suthigiripu kootangal ethane raabojanangal marubadiyum marubadi nee sodamile ponal enna sambhavikam how many sanctification meetings how many communion services if you shall after all this reenter to find yourself sitting there what will happen to you kadaisiyaga oru vaippu nyaya theerpukku munbaga avanukku alikkapattathu there was one and only final chance that was extended to him before judgment was pronounced nee alaithu kondu veliye va come out bring all of them anal avano thamadithan but he tarried he delayed priyamanule neengal thamadikkalam anal devunudaiya seyalgal thamadikkade beloved you can delay in matters but god's work will not be delayed yen yana sanam edukani thamadikkirai why do you delay in the aspect of baptism yen satyathukku keelpadiya thamadikkirai why do you delay in obeying to the truth yen pradeshtai panna thamadikkirai why do you delay in your consecration yen inda aikyathile vara thamadikkirai why do you delay to venture into this fellowship 
Why do you delay to stand firm for the Lord Jesus? Why do you deny this truth and stop from coming here? Why do you delay to come into this fellowship of the saints? Beloved brother, as you keep delaying, judgment is hastening towards you. Beloved, as Naaman deferred, even his healing was deferred. Beloved, as you keep delaying, your deliverance will also be delayed. It will leave you. It will go away from you. He re-entered and sat inside Sodom again. What was the sin of Sodom? Fullness of bread. Gerwam. Um, pride um, callousness a life free of care caution we read in Ezekiel 16.49 about the Lord speaking of four reasons as to why he destroyed Sodom in the first place even today you can see callousness abounding a life of luxury and pleasures increased even today people are filled with suffering fullness of bread is seen in the people but even when this man was delaying the angels could not delay what did those two angels do the, uh, the sun is to rise in the east it is about to dawn before it dawns they should be brought out of the city our son of righteousness Jesus is to soon arise before which in this meeting does he want to deliver you he, does, he didn't appear as if he uh, he, he would be he would be coming out he kept speaking back and forth and he tried to delay but after he um, he went beyond limits the two angels by force took hold of Lord his entire family uh, his uh, his daughters and brought them out of the confines of the city Beloved, after repeatedly calling you to come, if you do not obey, he will not let go of you just like that. He will take hold of your hand and by force bring you out. That is the message. You are not able to deliver yourself from the clutches of evil habits. You have almost marinated in certain sinful habits. You are, you are wishing to sever your strange ties, but you cannot do it. You have an affinity for the world. You have something to latch on to in Sodom. You have fellowship with destructible things. You are languishing in defeat. You have a desire but you cannot. You wish for things but you cannot. Beloved, in you who is found in this situation, what God is about to do to you is to take hold of you by force in his hand and bring you out. Oh beloved person who is languishing there is that there is none to deliver you. It is through this message now that God wants to deliver you by taking you and leading you out by force. The two angels took Lot, his wife and his two daughters, children out by force. The Lord who called you 
you will deliver you your wife your children your entire family right now and the two angels who can be heard who do whom do those two angels speak of ippol the unnodu pesikondirukkira devunde vaarthai oru thoodan innum konja nerathile devunde vallamai oru thoodanai pole irangi unnai veliye kondu varom he who shares the word of god from here is one angel in yet a short while there will be another power falling upon you that will also bring god's words that's another angel nan koopittu paarthen avan varavillai povittu ekkadum kettu povittu nu andavar vittu pogiravar alla the lord is not one will just give up on you saying i tried calling him but he hearken not unnudaiya iyalamai avarku theriyum the lord knows what you cannot do nee sikki thavikkirade avarku theriyum the lord knows that you are languishing being taken in certain things unnudaiya belathinal nee veliya vara mudiyavilla enbadai kartar arivar the lord knows pretty well that you cannot deliver yourself with your own strength nee bayapadade don't be fear indrakku indha kootam mudiyaravarkulle sarva vallamulla devan தன்னுடைய வல்லமையாலே உன்னை வெளியே இழுத்து கொண்டு வருவார். Before this meeting closes the Lord with his almighty power will bring you out. அடுத்ததாக next ஆபிரகாமை கர்த்தர் வெளியே அழைத்து கொண்டு வந்து வானத்தை அண்ணாந்து பார் என்று சொன்னார். The Lord next brought Abraham out and asked him to gaze up into heaven. ஆதியாகம் 15 ஆம் அதிகாரம் 5 ஆம் வசனம். Genesis 15:5 அவர் அவனை வெளியே அழைத்து நீ வானத்தை அண்ணாந்து பார் நட்சத்திரங்களை எண்ண உன்னாலே கூடுமானால் அவைகளை எண்ண என்று சொல்லி பின்பு அவனை நோக்கி உன் சந்ததி இவ்வனமா இருக்கும் என்றார் ஆபரகாமை நேரடியாக போய் அவனை அழைத்துக் கொண்டு வெளியே வந்தார் directly visiting abraham and bringing him out avane avare avale veliye alithukondu vande vaanathe annandu par un sandadhiyai naan peruga pannuven endru vaakku thattathai avar urudhi paduthinar he by himself brought abraham out asked him to look into heaven and asked him to count the stars in the firmament and said so will your seed be and i will bless you oor ennum kaldeer desathil irundhu அவனை தேவன் அழைத்து கொண்டு வந்தார். The Lord called him and brought him out of the land of the Chaldeans called Ho. நான் காண்பிக்கும் தேசத்துக்கு நீ போ என்று அவனோடு பேசினார். And spoke to him saying, "Go to this land which I shall speak to thee or show to thee." நான் உனக்கு ஒரு சந்ததியை தருவேன் என்று அவர் சொன்னார். And said, "I will bless you with a seed." நாட்கள் போய் கொண்டே இருந்தது. Days went by. வாக்குத்தத்தை அவன் நினைவு கூர்ந்து கொண்டே வந்தார். He kept remembering God's promise. என்ன நடந்தது பிரியமானவளே? Beloved what happened? காலம் தாமதிக்க தாமதிக்க அவனுக்குள்ளே ஒரு அவிசுவாசம் இல்லாட்டால் ஒரு தடுமாற்றம் விசுவாசத்திலே அறிக்கையிலே அவன் நிலை பெறாமல் போய் விட்டான் as the days went by there was some unbelief that crept into him he started to make wrong confessions concerning his faith அவனோடு கர்த்தர் வந்து இடைபடுவார் how will the lord deal with him அவனுடைய மனைவி உள்ளே இருந்து சிரித்துக் கொண்டே இருப்பார் and uh, and his, his wife would be laughing from within the tent மறுபடி மறுபடி இப்படி ஒரு வார்த்தை சொல்றாரு ஆனா உண்மை நிறைவேறது இல்லையே இது எப்பங்க நடக்க போகுதுனு ஒரு பரியாச உணர்வு and uh, the wife will be mocking abraham will this man is speaking the same thing all over again that things will happen how is it is ever, how is it ever going to happen innoru visai kattar abraham odu pesinar abraham ukke siripi on nagaitan endru solli in another location god spoke to abraham in that juncture it is written even abraham laughed at god mocked god ipdi ella nadakkuma can such things happen inimel inimel nadakkuma can it happen in the future naan edirpaatha kaalangal mudindu vittade that which i expected that my time is closed ipdi patta oru thadumaatcham avanukulle irundhu konde irundhathu he had some staggering like this oru naal andavare paathu sonnan andavare is ismael umakku munbaga pilaikettum and he said uh, once to the lord lord let ismael live before you adiyama 15 2 la solugiran inda elayasare kadaisiyaga yen pillayaga na avana sponsor pannikiren solla and he then says in verse 2 of chapter 15 of the book of genesis here is elias i will sponsor him to be my child i will adopt him naatkal pona bolude avanukulle oru avishwasam as days rolled by unbelief crept into him priyamanle kattar kuda ungalodu pesi irpar beloved even the lord would have spoken to you sila vaarthaigal ungalodu edaipadirukkum he could, some words could have dealt with you sila darshanangal ungalukku kedaithirukkalam certain visions could have appeared to sila velippaadugal ungalukku kedaithirukkalam you should have received certain revelations sila sopanangal vaayilaga kathar ungalodu pesi irpaar lord could have interacted with you through dreams sila darshanangalo theerka darshanangalo ungalodu thanipatta vidathil edaipadirukkum be it to dreams or prophecies they could have interacted with you privately anal enna sambavithathu but what transpired naatkal poi kondeye irukkirathu days went by idu nadakkuma can this happen 
sambhavikuma can this ever happen ipdi devanal seyya mudiyuma can god do as he said ella mudindu poi vittade all things have, fi- have been finished ipdi patta or virakthiyum or kelviyum or dukkamum or sandegamum ippozhudhu unnai aati padaikirar such frustration grief questioning and doubt was holding sway over him avishwasamana or pollada irudayam ungilile varadapadi paarungal be careful lest an evil heart of unbelief be found in any of you devan sonnadai avar seiyakudiya devan the lord is one who is able to perform according to his words avar seivadai maatrame sollugira devan he is a god who will speak what he can do naan unakku sonnadai seiyum alavum unnai vittu vilaguvadum illai unnai kai viduvadum illai endru avar solli irukkar the lord has said i will never leave you nor forsake you until i accomplish that which i have spoken to the all priyamarule ungalukkul irukkira avishwasathai vittu neengal veliye varungal beloved depart and come out of the unbelief in your life avishwasam ennum koodarathai vittu nee veliye va come out of the confines of this tent called unbelief avishwasathile irukkira varai unakku sirippu than varum as long as you are in unbelief you will keep mocking kelvigal than unakku varum questions is all that you will bring forth sandeyangal than unakkulle elumbum only doubts will creep in you tavarana vaarthaigal than nee pesikonde irupai you will keep speaking untoward words indrike unnai avar oliye alaithukondu vara virumbugirar you the lord now wants to bring you out avane andha koodarathai vittu veliye alaithukondu vandu vaanathai annandu pa and the lord bringing him out of the tent said gaze into heaven natchathrangalai enna kudumalal enni paar idai vida adhigamaga un sandadhiye naan peruga pannuve if it be possible number the stars in the firmament for greater will be the count of your seed said he to him in the malai velayile arumiyana nanbane unnudi avishwasathil irundhu kathar unnai veliye kondu vara virumbugirar beloved this evening oh the lord wishes to bring you out and deliver you out of your unbelief unakku sonna avan vaarthaiye ninaithu paar remember his words to you unakku sonna theerkadarshanathai ninaithu paar remember his words of prophesying to you avar unnodu pesina vaakkathathai ninaithu paar remember thou his words of promises to you vaarthaiyile vaarthaiyal ulagangalai undaakinava he is one who framed the worlds by his word vaarthaiyal ulagangalai thaangugiravar the one who opposes the worlds by his word indha vaanamum bhoomiyum olindhu vanaalum avrudaiya vaarthaiyile oru urupu kuda olindhu povadillai even if this world and this heaven will pass away not a jot and a tittle of his word will pass away avar sonnadai seigira devan he is one who will perform his words avar poi solla avar or manushan alla he is not man that he should lie avar manamara manu putranum alla neither is he mankind to turn and repent from his word unakkaga sonnadai avar nerivetruvar he will perform what he said for your sake una un pillegalukkaga sonnadai nerivetruvar he will perform what he spoke for your children's sake un ooliyathukkaga sonnadai avar nerivetruvar he will perform what he spoke for your ministry sake avishwasathai vittu veliye varunga come out of your unbelief vara mudiyavattal kathar unnai indrikku inda kootathile veliye kondu vara pogirar in the event of you not able to come out the lord's going to bring you out in this meeting avishwasathinala enna sambhavikkirathu what happens because of unbelief arpudam e nadakkad miracles won't happen avishwasam na arpudathinude mudhal ediri um uh, unbelief is the first adversary to wonders and marvels avarude avishwasathinal avar anegam arpudangalai seyya mudiyavillai because of the unbelief he was not able to do marvelous things in the midst or edathile caesargal pisasugalai thurathinargal in one place his disciples cast out demons and the pisas pogave illai but the demon never departed avangalukku periya doubt aayiruchu they started to doubt yesu oru thondu kettaanga yen pogala and they asked jesus why does this demon not depart avangalude avishwasathinal dhaan it is because of your unbelief oru pillaiya kondu vande oru thagappan alaindu konde irundhaan there was a father who was wandering here and there with his child uh, with him chinna vayasile vyadi the child was sick in a very tender young age chinna vayasile pisase a demon possession in a young age yesu jana viswasikiraya endru ketta and jesus asked do you believe appoludha avunde avishwasatha unarndu aala arambitha it was only then he wept realizing his unbelief avishwasi irundal unakku yara paathalum suthama theriyad if you have unbelief regardless of whom you look at around you they will all be unclean avishwasigal parlavu rajyathil praveshippadillai the unbelieving will not enter into the kingdom of heaven priyamanule in the avishwasathai vittu கத்தரின் மாலை வேளிலே உன்னை வெளியே அழைத்து கொண்டு வந்து வாக்கு தத்தங்களை நிறைவேற்றுவேன் என்று மறுபடியும் வாக்கு தத்தங்களை புதுப்பிக்கிறார் பிலாவட் தி லார்ட் பிரிங்கிங் யூ அவுட் ஆஃப் திஸ் அன்பிலீஃப் promises to you that his promises will be renewed once again even as it is granted to you in your life nalaik innu veliye kondu varapattavulai paarkalam we will consider about more people who have brought her devunde vaarthai unarndu thane veliye vandavulai nam paarkalam we let us consider of those people who realizing god's words came out by themselves katharku chithamana nalai marnal veliye vandavargal eppadi vaalndargal endradai paarkalam in the day to follow let us by god's will see how those people lived after coming out in the kootathile katharunai veliye varumadiyaga 
அழைக்கிறார் வர முடியாவிட்டால் உன்னை அவரே வெளியே கொண்டு வர போகிறார் in this meeting the lord is going to call you to come out in the event of you not being able to he is going to do it by himself அருமையான நண்பனே ஓரே மட்டும் வந்தவனே இன்றைக்கு ஏன் நீ கபீலை சிக்கி இருக்கிறாய் oh man of god who has reached your destination horeb why after having come here you you're still loitering and lingering inside that den innikku indraikku kathar unai akni cholil irundhu veliya varumbadi alaikiraar even today does the lord call you out of the confines of the fiery furnace sodomi vittu veliya varamudiyavittal avare unai sodomi vittu veliya kondu vara pogiraar if you cannot deliver yourself from sodom he by himself is going to deliver you out of there dukkathil mel dukkam vandu avi swasathile ulandru kondirukkira arumiyana nanbane indraikku unai veliye kondu vandu vaakku thattangalai avar niraveetra pogiraar oh friend who is in unbelief grieving having grief over grief the lord bringing you out is going to give you of his promises gabile irukiren kattarene alaithu kondirukkar endru viswasikkiravargal naan veliye vara vaanjikiren endru solugiravargal kangalai moodi mulangal padiyidunga those who are in the cave the den and say we are going to believe henceforth close your eyes and be on your knees enude uliyathin paadile enude viswasa vaalkaiyile naan andavare arindu kondadilirundhu akni parichayiludaga pogiren kattar enne veliye kondu vara vendum endru vaanjikkiravargal kangalai moodi mulangal padiyidunga those who are in the ministry those who are in the life of faith who after coming to the knowledge of god are fraught with fiery trials those people who want deliverance from it please close your eyes lothai pole sodomin pudiyile naan sikki thavikiren ennal mudiyavillai kattar dhaan enne veliye kondu vara vendum என்று விரும்புகிறவர்கள் ஒரு விசை உங்களை முழங்கால் படிட்டு தாழ்த்துங்கள் தோஸ் ஹூ சே ஐ அம் லைக் லாட் அண்ட் ஹிஸ் ஃபேமிலி ஸ்ட்ரண்டட் இன் தி சிட்டி ஆஃப் சோடம் ஐ விஷ் தட் காட் வுட் மை டெலிவர் மீ फ्रॉम தட் சிட்டி தோஸ் ஹூ ஹேவ் தட் டிசையர் க்ளோஸ் யுவர் ஐஸ் அண்ட் சரெண்டர் யுவர் செல்ஸ் டு காட் கத்தர் என்னோடு எவ்வளவு பேசி இருக்கிறார் தி லார்ட் ஹஸ் ஸ்போக்கன் மச் டு மீ எத்தனையோ விசை இடையப்பட்டிருக்கிறார் many a times has he spoken to me எத்தனையோ வாக்கு தத்தங்களும் தரிசனங்களும் எனக்கு அருளப்பட்டிருக்கு many a time has promises and dream visions given been given to me ஆனால் கா நான் தாமதிக்கிறதுனால நான் விசுவாசத்திலே தடுமாறுகிறேன் but because days go by i stagger in my faith கத்தரினை வெளியே அவிசுவாசத்திலிருந்து வெளியே கொண்டு வர வேண்டும் the lord should deliver me from unbelief அப்படி விசுவாசிக்கிறவர்கள் வாஞ்சிக்கிறவர்கள் கண்களை மூடி நெடுமுளங்கால் படியடுவார் those who have that belief those who have that desire close your eyes and be erect on your knees நான் விசுவாசிக்கிறேன் i believe lord அன்றைக்கு ரெண்டு தூதர்களை அனுப்பின கத்தர் இன்றைக்கு உங்களை கொண்டு வரும்படியாக தூதர்களை தம்முடைய வல்லமையை அனுப்பிக் கொண்டிருக்கிறார் the lord who delivered those people through his two angels is has also sent his angels now in order to deliver you all அன்றைக்கு அந்த அக்னி சொலிலிருந்து வெளியே வரும்படியாக ராஜ கட்டளை பிறந்தது போல உன்னுடைய அக்னி பரீட்சையிலிருந்து உன்னை வெளியே கொண்டு வரும்படியாக பரத்திலிருந்து தேவன் கட்டளை இடுகிறார் just like a royal decree went forth in order to cast you into the furnace the lord also commands today in order to deliver you out of your fiery trial varad kanakkaga pala vallamigal unnai pidithu katti vaithirukirathu kattare indha maalai velile unnai veliye kondu vara sitham ullavaraa irukkar for many years there are habits that have bound you but god by his word has determined and has purpose to deliver you now onnodu poraadi kondirundha avishwasa pidiyilirundhu kattar dhaan unnai veliye kondu vara pogirar that uh, god is going to deliver you from the clutches of unbelief that strove against you by his word கத்தரினை வெளியே கொண்டு வர வேண்டும் என்று விரும்புகிறவர்கள் உங்களுடைய வலது கரத்தை உயர்த்துங்க those who wish for deliverance from the lord put up your right hand வெக்கமே படாதீங்க don't be ashamed நம்ம எல்லாரும் தேவ சமூகத்துல இருக்கிறோம் we are all in the presence of god நீ கையை உயர்த்த சொல்றது தேவன் உன்னை डायरेक्टली கண்டு உன்னுடைய நிலவரத்தை உணர்ந்து ஒரு வல்லமையோடு உன்னை சந்திப்பார் நீ வெளியே வந்து விடுவாய் the reason why we ask you to for your hands to be put up is god will see you the lord will deliver you and you will come out of that situation அந்த சோதோமுக்குள்ளே புகுந்து அந்த லோத்தின் கரத்தை பிடித்த கத்தருடைய கரம் அவனுடைய மனைவியினுடைய கரத்தை பிடித்த அந்த கரம் அவன் இரண்டு வாலிவ பிள்ளைகளையும் பிடித்த அந்த கரம் இன்றைக்கு இந்த கூட்டத்தில் இருக்கிற உன்னையும் உன் மனைவியினுடைய கரத்தையும் உன் பிள்ளையினுடைய கரத்தையும் ஓ ஊழியனுடைய கரத்தையும் அது பிடிக்க போகிறது Amen devunde vallame neramaga irukirathu This is the time for the power of God Nee endha sunnilil irundhalum thookapadada Regardless of what situation you might be in don't be grieved Evvalu low stage la irundhal nee bayapadada Angeyum kattude karam unnai pidikku Do not think about your base and mean state even there will the lord's hand take hold of you naan paadalathile padukai votalum angeyum umude karam ennai pidikkum endru oru van solugira the man of god says even if i lay up my bed in the depths of the grave even there will your hands take hold
கண்களுக்கு descends upon you onnudaiya nettile oru naamam tharikkirar and god Hallelujah. gives you a name across your forehead onnudaiya nettile oru naamam tharikkapadugirathu there is a name written across your forehead oh nee ennudaiyavan you are mine nee ennudaiyavan you are mine hallelujah ethana per viswasikkireer how many of you believe devunde vallame unne veliye thooki kondirukkirar the power of god has brought you out oru thagappan than pillaiye thooki eduppadhu pole just like a father lifts up his child oru pillai than than pan pillaiye thooki aravanaippadhu pole just like a mother embraces his child oh devunde vallame unne thooki thottu thooki kondirukkirar yes the power of god touches you and lifts you up கரத்தை <laughs> <laughs> அந்த செவியை நோக்கி நான் நீட்டுகிறேன் லோ ஐ ஸ்ட்ரெச் அவுட் டுவர்ட்ஸ் தட் யூ மை நெய்ஸ் காட் ஹேம் உன் வேதனை நீங்கி நீ சுகமாயிர பி ஹோல் ஆஃப் தை பிளேன் யுவர் கதி டகர பா கதி டகர பானியா பிரியமானுளே உங்களுடைய கரம் உயர்த்தப்பட்டதாகவே இருக்கட்டும் வில் ஹவர் லெஃப்ட் யுவர் லெட் யுவர் ஹேண்ட் ரிமெயின் ஆப் அபிஷேகம் பெற்றவர்கள் எங்களோடு தயவு செய்து ஆவியிலே ஒருமைப்படுங்கள் தோஸ் ஹூ வர் அனாயிண்டட் பை ஜாயின் டுகெதர் அண்ட் யுனைட் யுவர் செல்ஃப் வித் தி ஸ்பிரிட் வித் அஸ் உன்னுடைய அபிஷேகத்தை கத்தர் இன்றைக்கு ரெட்டிப்பாய் மாற்றப் போகிறார் the lord is going to make your anointing and give it to you twofold நீ பிசாசை பார்த்து நடுங்கினாய் இன்றைக்கு அபிஷேகம் பண்ணப்பட்டு நீ திரும்பி போகும் பொழுது பிசாசு உன்னை பார்த்து நடுங்க வேண்டும் you are afraid of the devil but on the devil seeing you being filled with the anointing he is afraid of you hallelujah god abakar abakar tidabania ekara abakar tidakara abakar tidabakar abania ரெட்டிப்பான நன்மையை 
போயிட்டதுல <laughs> இனிமேல் பயனே இல்ல there is no use in me continuing to live இவ்வளவு புறக்கணிக்கப்பட்ட பின்பு இவ்வளவு அலட்சியம் பண்ணப்பட்ட பிறகு நான் ஏன் இருக்க வேண்டும் என்று நீ துக்கப்படுகிறாய் you are grave thinking why should you yet live after being so rejected and despised இன்று கர்த்தர் உன்னோடு தனிப்பட்ட விதத்தில் பேசுகிறார் now the lord speaks to you privately சோர்ந்து போகாதே do not faint நான் தான் உன்னை இந்த பாதையிலே கொண்டு வந்தேன் இட் இஸ் ஐ பிரோட் யூ அலாங் திஸ் பாத் யார் உன்னை கனவீனம் பண்ணினார்களோ அவர்களை கொண்டே நான் உன்னை கனம் பண்ணுவேன் ஐ will honor you through those who dishonored you first எந்த இடத்தில நீ அவமானப்படுத்தப்பட்டாயோ அந்த இடத்திலே நான் உன் தலையை உயர்த்துவேன் ஐ will lift up your head in the place where you were shamed அந்த சத்திரக்கல் மத்தியிலே நான் உனக்கு ஒரு பந்திய ஆயத்தம் பண்ணுவேன் ஐ will appoint a feast in the midst of your adversary இதோ இப்பொழுது நான் உன்னை புதிய எண்ணையால் அபிஷேகம் பண்ண போகிறேன் ஓ ஐ அம் गोइंग டு Anoint you now with fresh ointment. Hallelujah. Abba la katura. Unu de yeh, unu de yeh dupil or vedani ni anu bavi kirai. You undergo pain in your hips. Matta vilta, adai share panna tavara velangiru vangene ni baya pade kirai. You are afraid that if you share it with someone else, they will uh, misunderstand your pain. And the vedani naale unnal sad thiri rendu ukkaru mudiyadi. திடீர் என்று சடனா எழும்பவும் முடியாது because of that pain you cannot suddenly sit down now can you suddenly stand up உன்னுடைய வேதனை கர்த்தர் அறிகிறார் the lord knows your pain இதோ தேவனுடைய கரம் உன்னை நோக்கி வருகிறது no the hand of god reaches out to you பிரியமானவே இது குணமாக்கும் வல்லமை விளங்க கூடிய ஒரு நேரம் now this is the time when the power of healing is manifested நீ எங்க இருந்தால ஆண்டவருடைய வல்லமை சர்வ வல்லமை இந்த இடத்தில் வியாபித்து கிரியை செய்கிறது regardless of where you are the almighty power of god will pervade this place and work நீ வெளியே சொல்லவே வேண்டாம் ஆண்டவர் அதை அறிவார் you don't have to mention it out to others the lord knows it already devan unnai tottu kondirukkar the lord is touching you avrude aanigal paintha karam unnai tottu kondirukkar his nail driven hands are touching you konja naatkalaga konja naatkalaga for a yeah, for for a few days unnai muganaadi veru vittu poi vittadhu your face has changed nee na yaarthey adu sollave illa you have not spoken about it to anyone unnai ariyade ஒரு கலக்கத்தின் ஆவி உன்னை தாக்கி கொண்டிருக்கிறார் சப்கான்சியஸ்லி அ பவர் அ ஸ்பிரிட் ஆஃப் ஸ்ட்ரகல் ஆஃப் கான்ஃப்ளிக்ட் இஸ் ட்ரபலிங் யூ எதனால் என்று உனக்கே புரியாது யூ பை யூ டோன்ட் நோ வாட் எக்ஸாக்ட்லி இட் இஸ் உன்னுடைய அழைப்பை அசைக்கும்படியாக அந்த ஆவி போராடுகிறது தட் ஸ்பிரிட் இஸ் ஸ்ட்ரகலிங் வித் யூ டு ஷேக் அப் யுவர் காலிங் இதோ அந்த ஆவியை என்னுடைய நாமத்திலே நான் கடிந்து கொள்ளுகிறேன் லோ ஐ ரெப்யூ தட் ஸ்பிரிட் இன் மை நேம் எக்கரபக்கரபக்கதிடக்கரபக்கதிரா எக்கரபக்கதிடபனகதிடக்கரபக்கதிரா ஹalleluya 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 எக்கரபக்கரபக்கதிடக்கரபக்கதிடக்கரபானியா ஹalleluya ஹalleluya ஆமென் பெரியமானுளே இன்ன ஒரு ரெண்டு மூணு நிமிடங்கள் எஸ் பிலாவே ஜஸ்ட் 2 ஆர் 3 மோர் मिनिट्स எனக்கு ஒரு ஆசை 
ஒரு பரிசுத்தாவின் பின்மாறி அந்த ரெட்டிப்பான வல்லமை நம்முடைய மத்தியில இறங்க வேண்டும் my desires that the two fold outpouring of the blessing of god uh, that uh, latter rain should be poured out in our midst அந்த ரெட்டிப்பான வல்லமை that uh, uh, that two fold power இயேசு எப்படி இந்த உலகத்தை ஜெயித்தார் how did jesus overcome this world எப்படி மாம்சத்தை ஜெயித்தார் how did he prevail against the flesh எப்படி பாதாளத்தை ஜெயித்தார் how did he overcome hell தெரியுமா you know how அவருக்கு பிதா தன்னுடைய ஆவியை அளவில்லாமல் கொடுத்திருந்தார் the father had given him his spirit without measure unto jesus in the gate varaikum gate ku veliya varaikum ellarkulle in the campus mulu or abhishekam iranga vendi this anointing should descend upon everyone who are sitting inside this campus reti paana vallamai in the chorus ipolu paadapadum well this chorus is going to be sung the two fold anointing chorus nindra peragu kuda neenga aavi nerivu kulle neengal poi konde irunga even after the chorus stops you have to lead yourself into the infilling of the spirit naan oru தரிசனத்தை காண்கிறார் ஐ சி a vision in the stage ல இருந்து अनेक தூதர்கள் புறப்படுகிறார்கள் many angels are proceeding forward from the stage அவங்க நேரா ஸ்ட்ரைட்டா அப்படியே பேக் வரைக்கும் போக போறாங்க உங்களுடைய காரியங்கள் எல்லாவற்றையும் அவர்கள் பரிகரிக்க போகிறார்கள் they will walk straight down to the back and all of your problems are going to be put an end to by them in the chorus od avargal ungalai thoda aarambipargal with this chorus they are going to touch you devunde vallamai unnai thodum the power of god will touch you devunde vaarthai unnai thookum the words of god will lift you up devunde vallamai ani ippol anubavipai you will experience the power of god right away rattikana nanmi inde taaram yesuve alavil அந்த வசனம் சொல்லுகிறது ரெட்டிப்பான நன்மையை இன்றைக்கே தருவேன் என்று சொல்லி இருக்கிறது Right now will I give you that two fold benefit that goodness yaar kangalai therakkadhu none of you should open your eyes na inda paadal paadum bodhu innoru darshanathai kandai even as we are singing this chorus i saw yet another vision inga irundhu oru paadai apdiye mele yeri pogirathu there is a rock that lifts itself up from here anegar adile yeri mele poi kondai irukku there are many who are pushed on that rock and are going up with it rettipana nanmaiyai indre tharum yesuve alavilla vallamai இன்றே தாருமேசுவே லார்ட் ஜீசஸ் கிரைஸ்ட் கிவ் மீ a two fold blessing right now give me an immeasurable amount of grace right the power right now எல்லாரும் பின்னால இருந்து முன்னால் வரை எல்லாரும் ஒருமித்து இந்த கோரஸ பாடணும் ரெட்டிப்பான நன்மையை இன்றே தாருமேசுவே எவரிவன் ரைட் फ्रॉम द फ्रंट टू द பேக் தேர் we should all say sing lord give me this two fold goodness alavillada vallamaiye indre tharume give me right now that immeasurable power ippol the kattodi vallamai ooliyargal mel rettipa irangum viswasigal mel rettipa irangum vandirukkira nanbane unmele aashirwadam rettipa irangum now now will the power of god fall two fold on god's ministers and his believers and so will it also on the newcomers idu varai inda abhishegathai kondu nee ivula dooram vandirukkirai 
you have seen this anointing and have come this far ipo reddi pana vallamai irango inna inna unnai aadhiga aashirwada thugale kandar kondu pogapogu now it will be made two fold it will lead you into a greater depth of blessing reddi pana nanmaye inne pana yesuve alavella vallamai inne pana yesuve சகாயம் <laughs> ஒரு <laughs> அவங்க ரோட்ல அந்த மீட்டிங் நடந்து வரும்போது பரிதாபமா இருந்தது even as they come into that meeting hall across the road it will be a very miserable sight to me ஆனா அபிஷேக இறங்கும் பொழுது நான் பார்த்தேன் முடவன் மானை போல குறித்தான் but when the anointing descended upon them the lame man did jump up like a hot நான் இப்ப இந்த கூட்டத்தை முடிக்க போறது இல்லையே i know i did not miss close this meeting didn't did in the கூட்டத்துல ஒரு சிலரே கத்தர் அபிஷேகம் பண்ண தான் வேண்டும் there are some whom the lord should suddenly anoint in this meeting oh nelavaram kattarku theriyum unne ipdiye vitta satru thookittu poiruva the lord knows your state if you are let go of like this the adversary will take hold of you avar ipo un kaiye tottu dan un sirasai tottu dan unne abhishekam panni dan unne muthra ittu dan indha kootathai vittu veliya kondu povu the lord will touch you on your head take hold of your hand will anoint you by his spirit and then lead you out of here abhishega on mele irangam in the campus avittu veliya pogada without the anointing touch you do not depart from this campus onude elumbil nerambil oonil sadayil rathathil tholil kattude vallame irangatto let the power of god descend upon your bones your marrow your flesh your blood Alleluia. your skin your tendons and your joints pane nanmaye inde 